This is the review for chapter 11. Number one, we are asked if the given number is a root or a solution or a zero. All these three words mean the same thing. They're all synonyms. We're going to do that to see by seeing if P of that particular X that they have given us, for example, negative one in this problem, is equal to zero. So we're going to find P of negative one. That means plug in negative one for X in the polynomial everywhere that you see X. And negative one cubed is negative one. Here, remember order of operations. Negative one squared is positive one and then multiply it by this negative one, that gives us negative one. This is negative 25 minus 25. So this is obviously not equal to zero. So negative one is not a root or a solution or a zero. Let's now find P of five i. So we plug in five i for x. Let's do a little review as to what i is. i is the definition square root of negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. i cubed is i squared times i. So that's negative 1 times i, which is negative i. And i to the fourth is i squared times i squared, which is 1. So this is 125 i cubed which is negative i. This is 25 i squared. i squared is negative 1. So this will become positive 25. This is 125 i minus 25. So this does equal to 0. So 5 i is the solution or a root. Let's call it a root. Okay. We're going to check our work by looking at the function on our calculator. So press y equals and we're going to put x cubed minus x squared plus 25x minus 25. We're going to graph it. This should be a cubic. We're only seeing part of the graph right now. And we, we can see that negative 1 is not a solution. The graph doesn't cross the x-axis at negative 1. To be sure, we're going to put trace, and we're going to put negative 1 for x, and that gives us negative 52, which is what this is. Negative 25 minus 25, that's negative 50, minus 2 is negative 52. So that does verify what we had for this part. 5i, we can't check to see what the value would be for 5i, because that's imaginary. So we're going to just have to go by what we got here. We can use the calculator to check to see if we put the calculator in A plus B I mode, such as we have here, we can put in store 5i into x, so that's 5i, press store, and put that into x. So now x has 5i in it, and you can see what it would be when you do x cubed minus x squared plus 25x minus 25. Or you could have just put 5i in parentheses instead of x in all of these places. Now that should give us 0, and it does. Okay, so that's just checking our work with the calculator.